Our economy exists to serve our society. But today, it drives climate change and biodiversity loss that threaten humanity's future. We need to refocus our economy to serve people and planet, rather than pursue endless growth. This means dramatically reducing demand for energy and resources, especially in transport and construction. Right now, around one-third of total global emissions come from goods and services traded internationally. Yet so far, international trade lies outside the Paris Agreement. Governments are still asking the wrong questions. The tools, knowledge and technologies for a thriving zero-carbon society are more available than ever. But large investments made in transport infrastructure now are locking in future emissions that increase energy demand. This makes it harder for renewable energy to displace fossil fuels. We need a climate emergency economy to address these environmental and social challenges. We can achieve this by investing in people. Jobs, homes, health, education and quality of life, not new infrastructure and goods. This will ensure our transition to a well-being economy. How do we get there? International efforts must be strengthened. Climate targets should include shipping and aviation, and enforcement must be central to global climate agreements. Countries must take responsibility for the carbon emissions embodied in the goods they consume. Fairness is key. All countries must take part in the global effort, especially those who have already used more than their fair share of the total carbon budget. What can you do? First, inform yourself about the root causes of challenges like climate change. Learn more about the enablers and blockers of a carbon-free future. Secondly, follow the money. Keep an eye on the investments that determine how society changes. Third, pay attention to trade. Make your voice heard on matters that shape our global economies by joining protests and political movements. And lastly, endorse the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty, a global initiative to phase out fossil fuels and support a just transition. Together, we can build an economy that works for people and the planet. <laughs>